Yet another inexpensive Bluetooth headset brand out on the market. How good is it? Well, that's what we're going to find out today. Hey guys, Joe here. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking out the channel. Uh, I've got this new Bluetooth headset from XGP. This is actually a dual pack. They were kind enough to send this out to me to review. So disclaimer, I did not purchase this. They sent this to me. But once again, like I say in all my videos, anytime a company sends me something, I give my honest review whether I like it or not. Uh, just because it was, it was given to me doesn't mean I'm going to give it an, an automatic you know, A+. Plus. So this is from brand XGP. Honestly, I've never heard from them before. I don't know how good they are, how well it works. But I'm always up for testing out uh, new Bluetooth headsets, especially when you know pairing is always the biggest problem as far as pairing the intercom to other headsets. Uh, I've, I've always had an issue with that; it's never gone smooth. This one is supposed to be smoother. I don't know. We'll see. I've never had good luck with it. But uh, stay tuned and check it out. We got the two devices. Uh, we got a button here, a button here. This looks like the Bluetooth, and also the intercom and we got volume up volume down and we got USB-C there we've got the mount to mount to the helmet we've got the uh, speakers one thing that do notice is it only has one USB-C port so you can't charge it while riding it which really shouldn't be a problem and then here's your connection for your microphone right there which they give you one for a full face helmet and they give you one for an open face helmet so we got our two mics, our helmet clip. Uh, they also give you this type of clip too. This clip is the one that slides underneath the helmet. If you don't want a permanent mount and want to change it, this one's got 3M tape. If you want to stick it to your helmet and then snap it on there. All right, I'm gonna be installing this on, this is my HJC. I wanna see if the clip mount will work. Some helmets it's hard to get. Actually, yeah. And that connects and then you push here to undo it so pretty easy to get on and off pretty solid too they do give you it has 3m tape on velcro i'm going to remove these because i already have velcro in place on this helmet from a previous headset that i had installed you want to make sure when you're doing it you do the shorter side closest to where this is mounted on your bike because you need the longer side to go around and over to the, the other side. Only try had it charging for a little bit. There you go. And Bob's your uncle. Here in the instructions we have the basic. We've got volume up, volume down, and then we've got this is to power it on. These two buttons you hold for three seconds. You also hold them to uh, turn off for three seconds. You tap the volume down twice and it'll give you a, a battery prompt. Let's uh, let's power this on, see if we could hear it. It says power is 100%. I don't know if you're able to hear that. And there we go, XGP there on the bottom. It says problem connecting turn device off and back on. Let's see if it plays music. Well, it's coming through. I don't know why it says problem connecting. That might just be an Android thing. Activate voice call, Siri, Google Assistant. Tap that twice. You say double tap on here. The buttons are nice and big. They seem to be easy to find. Actually, I like the feeling of them. Let's volume them up on like that. Okay, let's double tap. Find me directions to a gas station. Hmm. Find me directions to a gas station. Try it again. Find me directions to a gas station. Google Assistant doesn't seem to be working. Well, music definitely works. Pressing this to play and to pause music, that works. Voice Assistant does not work though. Actually, you know what? I think I just found the problem. Remember before, I don't know if you could see that. Right now it says XGP and it says active and then it shows the battery, 100%. Earlier, Remember it said that there was a problem connecting, even though it was connected and music was playing, it says there was a problem connected. I actually had to disconnect Bluetooth and then reconnect Bluetooth. And now, hey Google works. Get me directions to a gas station. Yep, and it's going through. All right. All right, so that was my bad. The Google Assistant does work. It was just, I should have taped note that the connectivity in Bluetooth said there was an issue. Um, but like I said, Bluetooth was working because the music was playing. So I thought, all right, Bluetooth's working. But 
once you go into Bluetooth settings, if you see that error, uh, disconnect Bluetooth and reconnect again. And you don't have to repair, just you know, turn off Bluetooth, turn it back on, and then that time it connected and showed that everything was working correctly and pairing worked as well. So the audio is definitely really good on this, very loud and actually sounds really good. So I have no doubt about that. It's actually it's louder than my FOD Sports one. Next thing is when we want to try and pair it to another headset, because that's where these things all fall short, at least in my experience. I can never have a, a good luck pairing them to other, uh, other devices. So let's check that out. All right, so here's where the fun's gonna begin. Now, according to the instructions, here's the pairing button. If you see, this is already powered on, so I gotta hold that for two seconds. That'll put it into pairing. It'll start searching. This is my FOD Sports, different brand. This is on my Showy. I'm gonna turn this on and put it into pairing mode. Three, four. All right, so you heard it. That's in pairing mode. So now here's the XGP one. Here's the Bluetooth button. We're gonna hold this for two seconds. Oh, it says connected. Start an intercom, tap that one time. So let's try this, I'm gonna tap this one time. See if we can hear anything. Ah, it's working. If I put my head up to here and touching the microphone on this, and it's coming through on here. And let's see the same with this, I'm gonna to touch the microphone. Yep, and I hear it on the Fod Sports. That was actually easier. That was the easiest pairing I've ever done with any helmet headset. Um, even trying to match brands, doing like FOD Sport to not the exact model, but doing FOD Sport to another FOD Sport model, I've always had trouble connecting them. This is two different brands, the XGP and the FOD Sports, and all it took was holding that pairing button in for two seconds, and it connected to the FOD Sports when this was in pairing mode too. So that's great. So if I press this again, it should end. I don't know if you can see, but that's lit up blue, meaning intercom is currently connected. So we're gonna press it again and intercom. And it goes off. And now intercom is off. Let's initiate again. I'm gonna hit this, see if intercom connects again. Yep, intercom is working. That's lit up blue. Wow, easy peasy. That is the best Bluetooth pairing I've ever done. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try pairing it to another brand. This is actually a Lexan uh, Bluetooth headset that I have on this helmet here, and we're gonna pair it to this one and see how it is. Pairing. pairing. All right, I hold that in. So now I held this one in for two seconds. Let's see if we could hear it. Searching. Searching. Connected. Connected? Oh my God. This thing is amazing. <laughs> let's, uh, so now let's start an intercom session, hit this button, you'll see a little light up blue. And you can hear it coming through on here. I'm holding it up to this mic here. And let's see, vice versa. Wow, oh my God, XGP, <laughs> good job. I have never seen pairing so easy on a device before. That's two in a row, first try. All right, so what we're doing now is we're gonna test the music sharing between these two devices. This is the second one that I just pulled out. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna power on this guy and then power on this guy. So now we're gonna pair these up. Uh, to pair the two, we're gonna put this into pairing mode. One, two. I'm gonna put this into pairing mode. It says connected. That's three different devices paired in a row all the first time. So XGP, good job. All right, so let's uh, do the music sharing now. Here we go. All right, so both devices, these are both paired now. As you can see, the blue lights are blinking on them simultaneously. These two are paired. So to do music sharing, you just gotta play the music. So I'm just gonna hit, there it goes. So it's playing, I'm holding this up to the helmet. It's playing out of here, and it's playing out of these. Let's see what you could do to, let's say you wanna stop sharing. Tap the volume up twice. I'm gonna hit volume up twice. Oh, and it said sharing disabled. So now if I play music. Yep, it's only playing out of the one in the helmet. Let's see what happens if I hit, I wonder if you can do it twice right on the fly or if you have to pause the music. Let's just try it. Oh, there it goes. Playing out of both. 
Uh, XGP, you're freaking, you're knocking out of the park so far with every feature. Great job. So there you have it, Bluetooth headset from XGP. I am thoroughly impressed with it. The pairing process for using Intercom was seamless. It was great, three different headsets, three different brands, and they paired up first try, first time. So that I was really impressed with because we all know what a headache it is trying to pair these things with other units. As far as audio quality, audio quality was excellent. I don't know how they compare to JBLs, I don't have them, but this is definitely the best quality uh, Bluetooth headset I have from the you know off-brand names that I use so that I'm really impressed with also the, the volume is good now I didn't do a road test with it just because I don't think that you really need to um, my other headsets have always worked fine on the bikes I've always been able to hear it it's always been loud enough and being that this one right off the bat is louder and clearer I'm not even gonna bother road testing it plus I've got a Harley and I've got a Triumph over here so two different sound volume levels but either way I, th I think it's gonna be fine I was more interested in the features of this how it works the music sharing and most importantly the pairing with other headsets for doing the integration and the features the Google you know Siri uh, Google Siri, Google assistant works great I'm sure it works fine with Siri too I'm not testing with an iPhone I'm only testing with my, my Android so all in all this is my new go-to headset I'm replacing it on on both my helmets and gonna use this as my main uh, Bluetooth headset just because of not only the audio quality but the features and the ease of use and of course, the number one thing, pairing with other headsets. I'm looking forward to meeting up with my friends and just you know clicking the button and pairing because that has always been a headache. So thank you XGP for sending this out, appreciate it. Um, guys, if you have experience with this brand, please leave your comments below. Let me know what you like, what you dislike, if you have any problems with it or you know any concerns, I read and, and comment back on, on all the responses on the page. So thank you, if you enjoyed the, the video, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.